Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid and a potentially hazardous object. The possibility that asteroid Apophis may strike Earth has kept many astrophysicists up at night. Amidst the countless celestial bodies, Apophis stands out. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, who had the form of a serpent which represented evil, chaos, destruction, and darkness. Apophis was first discovered on June 19, 2004, by astronomers Roy Tucker, David Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Tucson, Arizona. Since its discovery, optical and radar telescopes have tracked Apophis as it orbits the Sun, and scientists are confident they know its future trajectory. In March 2021, Astronomers took the opportunity to use powerful radar observations to refine the estimate of its orbit around the Sun with extreme precision, enabling them to confidently rule out any impact risk in 2068 and long after. There was a time when the chances of Apophis hitting Earth were as high as 1 in 37 and could cause serious damage were it to impact our planet. However, this ancient piece of the early solar system is of great scientific interest. NASA is redirecting a spacecraft to study the asteroid. After successfully completing its mission to gather a sample of asteroid Bennu in September 2023, OSIRIS-REx, which stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security Regolith Explorer was renamed OSIRIS Apophis Explorer, or OSIRIS Apex. The spacecraft was sent to study Apophis during the asteroid's 2029 Earth flyby. NASA's OSIRIS Apex mission is to study the asteroid for 18 months starting in April 2029, just before it makes its close approach to Earth. OSIRIS Apex is the repurposed OSIRIS REx spacecraft that returned a sample of asteroid Bennu to Earth in September 2023. By April 2, 2029, around two weeks before Apophis's close encounter with Earth, OSIRIS Apex's cameras will begin taking images of the asteroid as the spacecraft catches up to it. Apophis will get within around 20,000 miles kilometers of Earth on Friday, April 13, 2029. This is within the distance that geosynchronous satellites orbit and 10 times closer than our moon. Apophis will even be visible to the naked eye in some parts of the world during its rendezvous. Its size is about 1,100 feet or 340 meters in width, almost the size of four football fields. It is a fascinating blend of silicate rocks, nickel, and iron. When scientists first observed Apophis, they were intrigued by its unique composition. But with that size, what would happen if Apophis hit Earth? Apophis would cause widespread destruction up to several hundred of kilometers from its impact site. The energy released would be equal more than 1,000 megatons of TNT. Here is a quick comparison to give you a better idea of the damage that could happen. The atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II had an explosive yield of about 15 kilotons of TNT. One megaton is exactly 1,000 kiloton, so 1,000 megatons would be equivalent to approximately 66,666 times the power of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This close encounter with Apophis has been on the radar of scientists since its discovery in 2004. Though there was a time when the chances of Apophis hitting Earth were as high as 1 in 37, that was when scientists had fewer, less precise measurements to work with. Now there is no chance of impact in 2029, and astronomers have all but eliminated the possibility of a collision over the next hundred years. However, there is a factor that cannot be ignored known as Yarkovsky effect, which is a consequence of the fact that change in the temperature of an object warmed by radiation. Rotating asteroids have a tough time sticking to their orbits. Their surfaces heat up during the day and cool down at night, giving off radiation that can act as a sort of mini-thruster. This force can cause rotating asteroids to drift widely over time, making it hard for scientists to predict their long-term risk to Earth. Scientists have to consider a range of possible trajectories depending on how strongly the Yarkovsky effect is pushing on Apophis. A few of these trajectories line up with region of space called gravitational keyholes. If the asteroid were to pass through a keyhole, Earth's gravity would bend its path in just the right way to cause an impact on a subsequent orbit. So a small chance of impact due Yarkovsky effect still remained. The good news is that scientists are more prepared for an asteroid impact than they were in 2013. One way to deflect an asteroid is the kinetic impactor method, essentially a very, very high stakes game of cosmic pool. The kinetic impactor is a spacecraft that basically just rams into the asteroid at high speed and transfers its momentum to the asteroid, much like playing billiards. 
but then the ejected material that comes off the asteroid from the impact point can provide additional momentum change for the asteroid and push it a little bit harder. As we continue to watch, study and learn, we can hope to turn this potential threat into a stepping stone for our journey into the cosmos. So, what do you think are the chances of Apophis striking Earth? Will it continue on its orbit? Tell us your opinions in the comments below, smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell for more videos.